At the beginning of your third trimester, between 26 and 28 weeks, your doctor is going to ask you to do what's called a glucose tolerance test. Now, this is everybody's favorite test. No, nobody likes this test. Basically, it's a test to see if you've developed gestational diabetes, and it's a challenge to your body with a, me with a measured amount of sugar to see how your body processes that sugar. Everybody has little subtle variations on the test, but the way I like to do the test is I have you fast, Basically, which means after you go to bed, nothing to eat or drink. And then when you wake up in the morning, don't eat anything, but go straight to the lab. At the lab, they're going to draw a blood sample, and from that, they're going to check your blood sugar. And they're going to give you this sweet stuff to drink, which is really pretty gross. Uh, it tastes like, uh, like orange soda or Sprite, but without the water in it. So it's just this sort of sugary syrup. And it's basically 50 grams of the syrup. It's a measured dose. You drink that, and then you wait for an hour, and then they check your um, blood sugar again. And we compare your fasting blood sugar to the sugar an hour later and see how your body is handling the sugar. If your fasting blood sugar is too high, that in and of itself will diagnose you as a gestational diabetic. If the blood sugar an hour after drinking the sugar is too high, that may or may not be gestational diabetes. There's a lot of false positives in, the t in this test. So if that comes back elevated, then we do what's called the three-hour glucose tolerance test. It's basically the same concept. You go in fasting, they check your blood, and they give you twice as much of the sweet stuff, and you have to stay there for three hours, and they check your blood every hour for three hours. If the fasting number is too high, that labels you as a gestational diabetic, or if two out of three of the other numbers are too high, that would label you as a gestational diabetic as well. This test is pretty miserable. You know, we all hate ordering it, but it's very, very important because if you have gestational diabetes and we don't know about it, it can really lead to major problems for your pregnancy. So as inconvenient and as sort of nasty as this test is, it's really important that you get it done. Just to sort of be complete, there's some other names for the one-hour glucose tolerance test. Some people call it the O'Sullivan test or the O'Sullivan screening, uh, and some people will call it a GTT or a one-hour GTT. That's sort of an abbreviation for glucose tolerance test. The other thing is that if you happen to be Rh negative, usually the doctor will order the ROGAM panel to be drawn at the same time as a glucose tolerance test, uh, and that's to prepare the medicine that you'll need to protect the baby if your blood type is Rh negative.